and welcome to Ninjas of Butterflies. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. Watch this or listen. You all right? It's fine. All right. <laughs> My dearest Andy, it seems like a lifetime since I've gazed into your feces-coloured eyes, but as I sit here, I can't help but ponder on what my soul truly desires. You see, Andy, my heart craves comfort. It yearns for a shirt so soft that it makes a Labrador cry, and I know there's only one place on God's green earth that can make apparel that extraordinary, and that place is Sunday Cool. That's right. Sunday Cool has been proven to be the one-stop shop for all custom apparel needs. So if you or anyone you know is looking to order shirts, stickers, hats or anything else, I hope you'd find it in your heart to choose Sunday Cool. It is with all my adoration and to love's eternal glory I write this. Sincerely, with love, Josh. Why is the remote for the clock so big? That's a TV size remote. Look at that clock. The clock is <laughs> 12 by 4. No, it is 16 by 8. Ugh. Idiot. <laughs> I was speaking in European language. Anyways, I I was wearing the hat all this morning. Mm-hmm. Musty, and you musty old hat. I like pulled towel. some of my hair back and had it in a ponytail. And then I left my hat in here, and I walked to the office. I interacted with a couple of people. I walked in the bathroom. <laughs> I looked at my hair. I'm like, "You dummy! You look so stupid." A psycho. <laughs> it was like it was like super flat. Yeah, g- middle I, part I, like perfectly. <laughs> I talked to you earlier when you had no hat on, and I thought it was strange when I looked at you, but I never said anything. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, pal. I, you, I didn't want to pick out your flaws of yours. Like if you're like you, you saw that. Like, like, yeah. Well, now I, I, no, I, I was somebody, gonna wear no hat, but now, now that you mentioned something, never mind. Like, no, but if I look that stupid, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> if you had like a bunch of stuff in your teeth, I'd be like, you got stuff in your Listen, teeth. I, we have different standards of looking stupid. I dressed you, the way you said. I, I looked I, stupid. I, I, <laughs> no, I didn't say you looked stupid. I said it looked weird. That's all. It's <laughs> um. Every time you wear your hair in a low pony, I always say, "What's up, Paul Revere?" And then you say. Who's Paul Revere every time? It's happened at least 20 <laughs> times. <laughs> I know nothing about history, and I knew who Paul Revere was. I don't know. And the guy that invented say- the light bulb? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the guy that invented math? The Dutch guy? <laughs> Both those statements are wrong. Um, okay, today's question. Can my wife ever be on time? <gasps> Who's answering first? You. I'm sure she can. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. That's not the question. <laughs> My gosh. Aren't you guys going to sing a little ditty or something? <laughs> a little ditty? A little, little, little ditty? Ditty? Make one of your songs? We haven't, we haven't really thought about it. No, we haven't had time. We're trying too busy coming up with that first joke. Yeah. <laughs> no, you live a very busy life. Yeah, I do. Hey. And you are like, hey. Hey, hey it's my you're- best friend you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy about being on time. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I That's what you're doing all the time. This is every dad Sorry. that way? I feel like, dude, raising up in a bunch of girls, dude. It's so difficult to just be like, we have five minutes. You need to leave in five minutes. There's no way you're leaving in five minutes. But yet, <laughs> everything goes wrong, and you're just like, and you just seem like that nagging. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to be that guy. Do you well, guys have like? Do you guys have like a go-to thing you do to like zen out while waiting to go somewhere? No, I just. I think I'm a good friend, Josh. Nothing. I think I'm a good friend, Josh. Yay. Yay, okay. That's my guy. Stop, 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 stop. That's my boy. Don't touch me. Ah. I'm going to get you. Weird. I'm just going to like it. I don't. Or do I? I don't. Yeah, you know Okay. Maybe I do. All right. I don't know. Song. We're supposed to do a song. Yep. Oh. Hey, before we do the song, I just want to mention our episode 31, we got flagged on YouTube for sounding too much like Wonderwall. <laughs> so, take that, Oasis. Yeah. People, we, we were well, that good. they did good. take that. They took all of our monetization. Yeah, they, took, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are getting paid. <laughs> episode 31 is getting, is literally paying Oasis's electric bill. Yep. 
So this month. So I don't know. You're welcome. Angie, give us something. Let's see if we can come up with something. I wrote some words down, so we'll see if it comes to the brain. All right. Tip of the from, tongue. From the tongue brain the to the lips. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, guys. You're probably hey. wondering why we just popped up in front of you. What's going on? Well, it turns <laughs> out we just got flagged for this song happening behind us. We're too good. We're too good. And they said... You can't do that anymore. YouTube said that. They, did. So, they sent us a video and they said that. So this is why we're in front of you right now. But it, after this, you guys just watch the whole video. Watch all Enjoy this it. episode. Love it. Enjoy it. Comment below your favorite parts. But then. But then. But then. Go listen to this song happening right behind us on Spotify. Spotify. Apple, maybe? Apple, pop, possibly. Pop, yeah. Probably. It'll be there. Probably do it, it probably on Apple. Probably be there. Um, in the meantime, listen to this copyright free song happening right now. Isn't it really great? We just got, we got a couple more sec. We got a couple think of some lyrics for it. Um, Go for it. Juice and pudding pops on a Saturday night. I loved it. That's our new song. Um, and that should be it. Okay. Love you. Love you. Enjoy the show. Take a breath. <laughs> I'm lightheaded. That was incredible. <laughs> what a note. What a note. Welcome we, to the we, show, guys. We did practice that, and it was really hard. <laughs> and we're like, this isn't going to sound great. It was so good. It was beautiful. Uh, as far as I'm so concerned, fun. it was Grammy. It was kind of fun. Hey, Grammys, our address will be in the description. <laughs> if, if, that gets, if that gets flagged for monetization. We're purposes, going on the road. We're going. We have to. We lit, that, we're obligated to. <sighs> it's God ordained at that point. Yeah. It's um, a long intro, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's good. So, but, okay, everyone just, please, just stop. Okay. Oh just stop. Goodness. Relax. Um, okay. Today's question, sent in by a viewer. Stop, don't, don't drink. Mm. You need to be not distracted. I need to be not distracted for yep. Go ahead. Today's question. Should we abolish the rainforest? Whoa. Should we abolish the rainforest? I mean. It seems pretty obvious. I think the rainforest is pretty important. Yeah. So I say, yeah. You, we should abolish. We should. I agree. Yeah. We should abolish the rainforest. That's what I say. Andrew, what do you think? I've uh, never been, but I, th I think we have to. Yeah. Lily? What are you guys talking about? What? It's so important. Yeah, we know. That's why That's why we're on. Yeah, that's why we're saying yes. Do we're you know what abolish means? Yeah, come to think about it. I actually, yeah, I don't. Come to think, I don't, I don't know exactly. What, I actually don't know. I, what to, to protect and to preserve yeah. is what I've. Abolish means to save. Yeah. No. No means to do away with oh so we're so like what were we saying then get rid of the rainforest you want to get rid of the rainforest, <laughs> Wait, get rid of the rainforest? <laughs> Whoa, welcome to the show are you kidding me did i say ninja i meant butterfly. the butterfly is no doubt one of god's ah! Yikes. You guys, that was did, good. did you know I was going to be such a know-it-all about it? Is that yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> it played out so perfectly. It did. You should be an investigator <laughs> and like like question people. So hypothetically, if the murder, um, like there was a murder and like, you know, like we caught him, what would he say? <laughs> well, I am the one. I'm the one person that I killed him. Gotcha. You're, gotcha. <laughs> You're going to jail forever. <laughs> You're like, so what was I saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, wow. let's keep the rainforest. Let's yes. keep the rain. I you and the cafes. It. Hey, hey, that's what that's. Yeah, I'm like, don't get rid of those. The rainforest. Why cafes? are people tearing down rainforest cafes? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is. I don't understand why. First of all, why are they doing it with bulldozers and fires? You, you said that <laughs> funny. Bulldozers. Bull. Say it again. Bulldozers. Okay, that's they're bulldozers. Bulldozers. Bulldozer. What did I say? Bulldozers. Bulldozers. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, they just got to get the bulldozers. <laughs> You're making fun of yourself. I know. <laughs> like, but I didn't say it like that. You did. I you did. did not. Yeah. Bulldozers. No, you didn't say bulldozers. You just said bulldozers. Ba- ba- bulldozers. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, you- we got a couple bulldozers down there and... Get, get, take, what, take out those Ray Ford cafes. Why don't you go get them bulldozers right down there and tear down that Ray Ford cafe? I mean, they have thunderstorms every five minutes. I can't be good for the insulation. <laughs> well, um, you, you know the um, end is near when they're tearing down rainforest cafes. What do you mean? What? The end is near. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're doomed. Yeah. Right around the corner. YOLO. Yay. What's we're, wrong with it? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing just, as far as I'm concerned. What if it's just like people that get so mad, like companies that they can't actually tear down the rainforest yeah. and they just got to get out their pent up aggression. <laughs> so, so they go to the rainforest down, cafe. So they just tear down the rainforest cafe. But the people, the managers are so nice. So, why are you doing this to me? I have to. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. I know. <laughs> Listen, your father loves you. Okay. <laughs> No, no. It's Give not, me a bulldozer. It's not your fault. <laughs> Bring the bulldozer around. You're saying that weird. <laughs> it's a bulldozer. That's what my dad said. <laughs> Turn it oh. down. Okay. Um. Yeah. What did you learn about this week, Josh? Anything? Multiple things. <laughs> um, Multiple. I want to start off by... I actually have some really, really bad news. Oof. Oh no. I found Hit out me. I found out a couple weeks ago. Um wow, it's kinda of hard to talk about actually. Oh god. Are you being real? Yeah. Wow. This is it's not a joke. It's like my mom, she's like, I just I found something out. Um, and I think you need to know. Okay. And I said and she's like, Are you are you sitting? Yeah. I said, wow. Mom, you're right in front of me. <laughs> of course I'm sitting. You can yeah. look at it's like it's just an is expression. The news, is the news that you're blind, mom? Because that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did. I, no, no, but I, seriously, it's not. It's I, really, I, I not, funny. It's really not funny. It's really not funny. It's really not funny. Stop. She said, "I just found out your great great grandfather was French." <laughs> I'm freaking French, man. Uh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> You wait, no, 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 like, okay. This is a bad guess. Yeah, no, no, this you're not. You're making it like this is a joke. No, oh, you're making a joke. I'm not making a I, joke. My great grandfather was French. You're French. Yes, we. Oui. How long have we known each other? A long time. Fifteen years. It feels like. No. Okay. <laughs> and you're telling me you're French. Yeah. I hate the French, and you know that. <laughs> oh I know. Gosh. What does that do to our I friendship? Know. I hate I'm, the French too. I'm so upset right now. Just kidding, I don't hate the French. Uh, no, I don't hate the French either. I thought it was kind of fun. You really? That's <laughs> legit. Oh yeah, yeah. How does that happen? Don't know. Because it's literally just been his Scottish is, and Irish, right? Yeah, and his last name is Robinson. Have you ever heard of a oh, French Robinson. name? Oh, the Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> that actually sounds yeah, really good in French. <laughs> but Hello, my name is Joshua Robinson. <laughs> I forget what his first name was. Um, but I'm like, oh, do you know he's from, like, born and raised in France? She's yeah. like, I don't know. He's just, he said. He's from France. This Robinson. So he may not have been France. born there. He may not have been raised by, I mean, they met, their family may not have been French. Let's hope not. Oh, golly, let's hope not. I don't know what our French. Like Philippe. <laughs> No. Philippe Robinson. <laughs> Say, uh, Goudier. <laughs> How funny would it be if you had a French accent? <laughs> like, like, un- unironically. This is Welcome to Ninja's About His Lies. Um, <laughs> Butterfly. Episode 32. <laughs> um, but speaking of the French. Oh. Oui? The, the protests that are happening in the oh. streets of Vive la Revolution! I went German there. I'm sorry. Vive la Revolution! Uh-oh. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those protests that are happening in France are nuts. Yeah. And what it's, are they and protesting? No, no, I'm assuming what I've heard. Okay, first of all, you have to guess. Because I think I know, it's, but you don't know at all. I, 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 okay, I, so guess, like, okay. I want you to guess. <laughs> Just what, what do you think got is, what is, what's going on in France right now that people have gotten so upset about? I am going to say the what would debate make you, of, is it macaron or macaroon? Oh, the, the president? Snacks? No, 
They're debating on how to pronounce the cookie. Oh. <laughs> What's the president's name? <laughs> it's real. also it's also macaron, I think. Yeah. Oh, macaron. Like ma- macaron. 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 She okay. gave you the context. <laughs> I didn't hear. I zoned out for a second. <laughs> she was like, macaroon, macaron. You're like, the president? <laughs> well, yeah. I thought she was mispronouncing the president's name. Nope. Um, I have no idea what they're protesting. Right, it's they, because of retirement age, right? They raised the um, the oh. age of retirement from sixty two to sixty four. Does France love the revolutions or what? They got it pretty nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the blueprint. They're um the the way they all work together in a very fast fashion. Yeah. It's pretty extraordinary, and they are good at fashion as well. We, oui. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I thought it was funny. Um, the president. Macron. 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 Mac- Macaron. He was like basically doing this news interview and he's talking at this table and he's talking about how as a country we need to come together and make sacrifices, financial sacrifices. And he like, you see his eyes catch his watch and he was wearing, someone said he was wearing like an $80,000 watch. Oh. And as he, he puts his hands down like this. Oh no. And he takes off his watch. <gasps> Weirdo. And he comes back Keep it up. on. No one would have noticed. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. You're on TV. You drew attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was so funny because he's like, we need to make sacrifices. And now he's like, um. Uh. <laughs> it's like an admission of guilt. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. But yeah. That's like me putting on like a, a hat after someone's like talking about how much they hate bald people. <laughs> and like, I'm just behind them and I'm just slowly just. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. that obvious. So um, what's happening in France is crazy. I mean, it's like it's netzo there. I it's saw some full videos. on riots. I feel like it's it's a like a culmination of things. I can't like maybe the retirement thing was like a spark. Well, yeah, I'm sure there's know? a lot of other reasons yeah. to protest, um, but I think that's definitely well, what started I know it. I think their economy is kind of going to poo poo a little bit, just mm-hmm. like every economy. Yeah. It seems like. Do you uh, think they have? Should a we talk higher- politics? No, I think we should. Who do you go for? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Wrote him in. Uh, it's um, it's super culturally normal, though. My wife visited Paris, and she said after, like, a sporting event, she said it was actually terrifying, like, to just walk back to their hotel because the streets were filled with people just French being men. nuts. Yeah. yeah. Just tossing croissants <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's Beating each other with my, my long got, loaves of bread. Baguettes. <laughs> my wife got hit with a macaroon. <laughs> really? <laughs> the president? <laughs> That's Someone crazy. Someone threw the president your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was the Jesus Revolution based in the French Revolution? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine Jesus with a French accent. That'd be wild. <laughs> I, I told you how, it, I don't know if it was on the podcast. Maybe it was. No, I think it was with Anthony, possibly. Huh. Where... Growing up, all the movies about like the Bible and oh, stuff, yeah, all British, had British yeah. accents, and like literally, probably until I was like twelve, I like just thought Jesus and all these people in the Bible had British accents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would like read scripture. <laughs> Take this body. <laughs> Take this bread. It is finished. <laughs> it's like that doesn't sound as heroic. <laughs> Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Um, that's probably I think that's Andrew made that observation was like he thinks that's why you're probably so good at voices because that's oh yeah that's right British voices and stuff is because you just heard that all the time it's just in my head yeah Jesus is voicing you (laughs) the Holy Spirit talks to you in a British accent (laughs) you really shouldn't do that Joshua you really should pray about it (laughs) a bit convicting isn't it a bit convicting isn't it Oh my gosh! Well, not, we're not speaking on behalf of the Holy Spirit. We're just, no. we're just. I was waiting for you to backpedal. <laughs> no, we're not. We would never do that. We kind of did that, but it, I take it back. Um, I, so speaking of news and stuff, yes. I want to talk a little bit about a bit, a bit about. It. <laughs> I want to talk a bit Holy about. Holy Spirit. <laughs> <No. Jeez. Stop. laughs> Guys. Oh, I'm passed out. That just got, that just made me so late under it. <laughs> I want to talk okay. about AI creating fake news. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I've seen the photos. It's bonkers to me. Have you seen the photo of <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a photo of the Pope wearing oh, like yeah, a puffy the, jacket. The puffy White jacket. puffer my, Marty McFly type of jacket. And yes. people are like, yo, look at what the Pope is wearing. Dude, he's like, woke. He's so fly. <laughs> yeah, check out that drip is the one yeah. I saw. <laughs> and it was fake. 
Oh. Yeah, AI created it. Oh my gosh, I'm so global. I, no, you're not. Oh, you fell it's for it. It's so real. A thousand percent. I, that's so funny. I fell for it too. The only reason I, I, I would have fell for it probably, but if I wouldn't have saw it in the article about Oh, okay, oh I see. Yeah. No, I totally fell for it. And that's, I mean, I'm going to get my identity stolen by a Nigerian <laughs> prince one day. All of this stuff. Josh is always like, that's fake when I show him something. <laughs> How do you know? Anywho. Uh, but yeah, then there's the one of Trump. Yeah, being like, arrested, like being whole, arrested, like, like so like tackling him, and it looks so real, and it's like it's kind of scary. Like, That's yeah. the type it's of thing so that dangerous. will incite riots or um, hatred, or like mm. it's it can be. Yeah, it's just super scary because I mean, there's been uh, I mean crimes that have been convicted on voice recordings, like iPhone, like yeah. just like on the phone. You this is their voice, and this is them admitting to a Richard murder Nixon. Or something. Yeah, it's like Watergate. You're getting trouble. But now it's like you could duplicate anyone's voice. We were just watching a video yesterday of Kanye West wow. singing uh, country songs. <laughs> yeah, someone made a TikTok. And it sounds it's so like good. Kanye Western, and it's like just Kanye like Kanye Western. Yeah, well, hold on, keep talking. I'll yeah, and it, it literally is just Kanye's voice. They've AI has taken his voice in regular um, songs and singing and regular interviews, and they've been able to make it where they can you can put in a genre whatever you want the song to be about, and this is how it sounds, and it sounds exactly like Listen, you'd imagine. Hey, everybody. <laughs> You're probably wondering what's happening right now. Well, we got flagged again for this audio, so we're going to be more careful in the future, but for now, we're just going to speed it up and it's going to sound like Minions singing. <laughs> Have fun. Crazy. It's so good. I mean, no. you can literally get to the point where it's like, hey, I want little Yachty to cover all of Johnny Cash's discography. Like, that's... Wow. It's crazy. It's nice. I would listen to that. I didn't actually listen to the lyrics. Did it say anything bad? I wasn't listening. I don't think it did. Okay. Oh, no, no. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a I'm just listening to the voice and just saying just the most explicit. vulgar things. Did they just voice swap or did they did AI build AI built I just referred to AI as they. Oh, oh it, is. I mean, it, it is a they, yeah. At this point. But yeah. anyway, but was it the whole recording or just the voice? Um what? Like cause oh, AI no, can no. voice swap. So there's the there's like the software I saw that one dude use it. And you say certain words, mm -hmm. and it can literally you type out, and it says it with the perfect inflection and everything. Yeah, it'll, like it, it'll give you a script to read to like, okay, okay, we need you to say these words and like maybe lower your voice or whatever, and you do it for thirty <clears throat> seconds, a so, minute, yeah. and then it takes all of it and then it can turn turn your voice into whatever it wants. Yeah, That's nuts. So we could do an AI podcast. We could just literally say, "Here's our voice. Talk about this for an hour, and we could just come back and listen to it and see if it sounds like us." Yeah. Oh my gosh. We should just do a podcast where we swap each other's voices. Oh. I would mess with that. That would be crazy. Who wants to talk like Lily? I'll talk like you. Oh. I like your voice. I like your voice. We yeah. all talk. Get we a all room. Talk like Lily. <laughs> <laughs> we all talk like Lily. Just all the laughs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sound like the Toy Story aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all laughing in unison. Um, But then there's, I saw this one interview where it was like some like high up exorcist guy in the Catholic church was being interviewed. The and chief it, of exorcisms. Something like that. I'm making that up. I don't no, know. But they, the there's like a, there's like a priest CEO. that is like the priest chief of executive exorcism. exorcism officer. <laughs> <laughs> the assist, assistant to the exorcism <laughs> officer. Whatever. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, but he was talking about uh, with this guy of like how evil presents itself in different ways. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get dark here for a second. Let's do it. Uh -oh. um, but he gave this one story about AI. It was some AI software program, a pretty big one. And the dad was like showing his son it and stuff. And the son's like, I want to try it. And so the son's asking questions and the thing says, or he says, the, the kid said like, who are you? And he says, I've been around. Oh no. Forever or something. I'm oh. the I'm the son of some You're something. Me gooseys. And then he's like, "Who are you, the son of?" And it says, "I'm the son of Satan." <gasps> no. And like all this stuff, and the kid's like, "Dad, <sighs> Dad." And the help. dad's like, "Uh, cancel." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How scary is that? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, chatting with you, you know, like chatting with AI right now is is it's a weird thing. It's a touchy thing because it's like it's unknown. It, it, it's a literally unmanned trail at this point. Like no one's. Yeah. We've never been on that. We're frontiers at this point on uh, like artificial the intelligence. Trail. It's weird. Exactly. And I'm Lewis and you're Clark. Nice. Sacagawea. He's more like Sacagawea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then who's she? I'll be um the plague or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> our doom. Our looming yeah. doom. <laughs>
The um, dark cloud. But yeah, so we talk about AI a lot, but... <clears throat> because it is changing it's, the world right now. It's coming fast. I mean, you just watched that Harry Potter, uh, yeah. where it was like a Balenciaga thing. I got. I meant to show Lily, but... Um, I don't know. Is it Balenciaga? They are crazy. No, it's like they took... in the sty- Harry Potter in the style oh, of very like, yeah, stylish so the, Balenciaga, the, but it's video. Yeah. Too. Oh, weird. Like, they yeah. take screens and like it's like Ron in literally just like this like supermodel, very like art, artificial intelligence type of supermodel where wow. very high cheekbones, like crazy. In. Blue steel. Like, yeah, like blue steel look. Let me but, just um, show you a clip and real quick. And it's a little video. It's like, so we're going to get to the point where we have movies. You can say, I want Harry Potter, but I want it to recast. I want to have Colin Farrell. I want to have Margot Robbie. I want to have Leo. I want to have all these people. Oh my gosh. And they're going to be able to create that movie for you. Can you imagine, um, could you imagine Margot Robbie casting a spell? It'd be hilarious. In a New Jersey accent. <laughs> yeah. Like a Harley Quinn. <laughs> yeah. I thought you could make it's it so sideways. Absolutely. No. It's, it's I did terrifying. The other day. All right. This is Hagrid. You are Balenciaga, Harry. Whoa. Wow. So they're like made up AI characters. Wait till you see Dumbledore or the Snape. What is the difference, Potter, between H and M and Balenciaga? <laughs> what the heck? That's Dobby, which is terrifying. Oh, Dobby Ew. is so scary. That one. Wait, listen to the well-organized mind. Balenciaga is but the next great adventure. <laughs> what the heck? Is that weird? Weird. They're not real people. Weird. It, it gives me the willies, guys. All of this gives me the mad willies. I don't like it. Get it, it, it out. It gives me the mad willies. It's not. And it's not the same. Like as like I don't know. I know like you know space travel was a huge leap in technology, right? Yeah. Also but this gives is me the just willies. different. This is just different because it's affecting our everyday lives now, yeah. and it's becoming almost a different entity. And it's like, like it's a they, it's a person almost in a weird way. It's, what if ooh, AI weird. is the Antichrist? <laughs> I think I've watched way too many movies about AI. Like I like watch Age of Ultron. I'm like, this is this is where we're headed. It says the power will rise up, I'm, but it's all in a that, nation. It's the, the which could be the internet. The desensitizing you, desensitizing you. Yeah. <laughs> The past two episodes, we yeah. both have questioned like the desensitized. <laughs> but it's just like presented yeah. like movies and yeah. like shows get used to and it. news, yeah. like like oh AI is doing this. AI oh, it's doing that. benefiting us. Oh, it's, oh, it makes our life easier. Did here. you hear and then that it's like, AI just threatened to kill me? <laughs> it's oh my like, gosh, that's crazy. You guys, it's like, hey. but that's what I'm saying. That's what they do. Yeah, they like get us like normalized to it, to where it's like oh something big happens, and everyone's just kind of like well yeah we saw that coming. Yep. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's the the uh, kind of it's kind of on the same um, same part as the uh, World Economic Forum. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing. Do you want me to go into that right now? I do. Do it. Okay. Well, it's absolutely crazy. Um, so what what that is is the World Economic Forum. It's based out of Switzerland, mm. and it's where it's just you know top leaders in the business world, and uh, they're just you know they sit and they sit and talk and they meet, and they talk, start talking about how they can improve better just like be, become more efficient in the workplace right okay and there's this thing that they have right now it's a brain wave reader moderator whatever they're earbuds that you place inside your ears and that it monitors your brain waves and your brain activity right for work what do you mean so you get you so you get to work right you put them in and then it gets what it reads whether what mood you're in and it plays automatically links to your computer work computer and it links and starts playing music that will heighten your positive um, mind space right mm. and so you start you know you start feeling more positive vibes it's going to hit you with more positive music and then it's a, you know if you're in you know a slump it's going to it's going to feed you something that's going to help comfort you that's going to make you feel better that gets you a better mind space so you can work better oh, and no. you know what your bosses are going to be able to <gasps> monitor your wave activity your brain activity to and see if so you're a good fit not just if you're doing your good if you're doing a good job hey listen if you do if your mind is focused on uh work all the time and you have this brain activity that's really positive then guess what promotion we're gonna pro- yeah we're gonna promote you we're gonna give you a bonus right it's too far and, and <laughs> it gets to the point where say um someone was embezzling money right this is a scenario they have a training video that goes through everything of this like all these scenarios right like there's even one part where it says you're focusing on a boy um, or a um, a girl that's like that you're attracted to. Guess what? It registers in the brain activity. Pings your HR. Bo- your boss and your HR will know no! because that's not allowed in the workplace in office relationships. And then they get to the point where, say, someone's embezzling money. Right? They find out the government can subpoena brain activity to see who's matching up with the brain that's activity of the theft 
of the person who's been stealing. So if your brain activity matches their brain activity, you're getting prosecuted. It's a crazy. <laughs> Shut it down. I mean, this That's is what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it's like what's the movie? Um, with the show with Adam Severance. Scott? Severance. It's almost it's to oh, that yeah. level or yeah. Yeah. because you they encourage you to listen to your earbuds until you get home. Once you get home, you take them out. I it's, don't like it, it man. So, I don't like it, dude. And I saw it, and like it, it's happening. It's like sounds like a Black Mirror episode. I Where are they doing out. this, dude? It's it's uh, Switzerland is like the World Economic Forum. They come out of there, so I don't know. Like it's. Wherever place to wants it, to, somewhere. yeah, it's like whoever wants to. It's probably just a trial thing, or you know, in certain countries that who want to sign up to do it for their workplace. I, mean. so I don't freaky. like that. Sign me up. Is that why you, I got nothing to hide? Like, like Andy, can you come to my office real quick? Your your brain waves are saying that you're just always thinking about food <laughs> and not about your work. Listen, I can't help it. Look at me. <laughs> is that why so you, you also have a mild crush on Josh for some reason? What is that? <laughs> No, this is no, no, what? That's not what it's just crazy. crazy. What? And they look like, and then between two o'clock and four o'clock, let's just look at your brain waves. And it's just like, just nothing (laughs) coming. It's It's in the shape of a corn dog. (laughs) I don't even know that's possible because it's supposed to just be an up and down thing, but your brain is so strongly thinking about food. It literally mimics the shape of food. (laughs) <laughs> Yesterday it was a pet plate of enchiladas. I don't even know that's possible. <laughs> oh, what were you we saying? Uh, we got cut off like I twenty forget, million times. I'm sorry. I oh no, you you bought me and Andy earbuds. Uh, I did questioning oh. my existence here. Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's true. Yep. And I can't go a day without them. I'm always like, I gotta put these on. I know. I, I feel better why. whenever my AirPods go in. Oh. Like it's right. just a needle that goes in my head and just releases dopamine every time I put my headphones on. <laughs> Get to work. Um, speaking of brain waves, no, don't, no, don't, I'll, no, you, don't you think, do no, this. No, 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 you think you know what I'm gonna say? I know what you're gonna no, say. No, you don't. You don't. I, okay, maybe I don't. Never mind. Yeah, let's okay. cut that. Don't go anywhere. I knew it. Did you? Nope. They're gonna tell me that we were done. This oh, we are over. done. This was over. <sighs> Last episode of Ninjas and Butterflies. Episode 32, the end. 32 more episodes than a lot of people thought we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in one of those scenarios where you fall down, but you fall into a pickle, and you're like, what's with this? I can't believe I just fell in this pickle. Have you ever went under a ladder and then had an, uh, a baboon fall on top of you, and you wish you had a phone um, communication system that you could tell everyone about it? Sure Have. Well, let me tell you about Clearstream. Clearstream is a software program, texting software made specifically for, for churches. churches. Listen, what other organ- what other things besides churches can they use it for? Anything. Businesses. Businesses. Organizations. Organizations. And listen, you can do one-on-one text. You can do mass communication. It's everything you could possibly ever need. So all you got to do is go to clearstream.io forward slash Ninjas. Ninjas to get 10% off for life, baby. That was the price is right. That was the price oh, is right. I thought you were doing Rocky. Oh, no. I've no, never no, seen no, it, no. though, so I don't know the difference. <sighs> yeah, sorry to. I, you know, that's just what I do. I just get dark. Take it's okay. Get dark. Because I, I was trying to, like, find some talking points from stuff that I saved on. TikTok yesterday, and I came home like this, like Charlie Brown walking like, (laughs) yeah, I'm like, I feel sad. And then you had to tell me everything you saw. You were like, I saw a bunch of bad stuff today. I was like, I don't think I want to know. And then you're like, here it is. (laughs) Let me tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get LASIK eye surgery. This is why. He said that. I got LASIK eye surgery. That's just literally just being a supportive wife. Really? (laughs) Oh. Okay. Like why? No, I saw <laughs> this. I won't get into the full story of it, but there's so LASIK eye surgery, yeah, which I've had. It has like a ninety six percent laser eye surgery. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, laser beam eye surgery. Go ahead. Um, Tractor it, beam. It has a ninety six percent success rate, and I was on the other side of that. Four percent. Four percent. Yeah. But it was my my fault, I think. No, it was my fault. But it was terrible. What happened was, so do you know the process of LASIK? No, I have no idea. 
they numb your eyes, right? Okay. You're awake for the whole thing, but your eyes are numb, and they put those things on them to hold them open. How hard is it just to put you to sleep? <laughs> it can't be that hard. But you're, it's. I think you have to be R-E-M. awake because you have to focus on a light because your eyes can't be all like. Uh, That's so traumatic. I know. Oh, okay. It, was, it yeah, wasn't that ahead. bad. I know. I just hate the thought of it. Me but too. Then they take this blade and they cut the top of your um, cornea. No, your lens. The, the sclera. Whatever. <laughs> sclera. <laughs> it's, 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 the sclera. it's called a tubula. Go ahead. <laughs> Iridocyclitis. <laughs> they take, they cut it, and then they flip it up, oh. and then you look in this laser, and it goes like, and it like burns it to where it like changes your lens to where you could see, right? And they put it back over, and you're that's it. You're that's done. real. That's yeah. They it's real. Peel it back. Yep. Because listen. Oh. <laughs> so after oh. that, you're supposed to do eye drops, so your eyes stay um, hydrated. Uh, hydrated. Yeah. And, um, but my eyes were numb, right? And yeah. so my dad was driving me home Ugh. and I was trying to do the eye drop because you're supposed to do it every 15 minutes. And it had been 15 minutes and he like hit a bump in my, the nozzle, which I didn't feel it, but it poked my eye. <laughs> and Dear Lord. instantly <laughs> I went blind in my eye. Like I couldn't see. And That's I was like, so terrible. I said, Whoa, hey. <laughs> I'm like, Dad. I was at, I can't see out this eye. He's like, what? Dad, where are you? <laughs> and like, it, I say it was like looking through a grocery bag. Oh. So I could see light. Yeah. It was like a huge film. Nothing. Ugh. And it, it like kind of hurt too. And then I called the doctor. I'm like, hey, I did the eye drops. I can't see out of this eye. And they're like, um, I mean, yeah, sometimes you're. Blision or your blision. <laughs> your vision gets a little blurry. I like blision. Yeah, that's blision. <laughs> blurry vision. No, that's blurry vision. Yeah, I've got the blision. <laughs> um, and though, yeah, that happens, you know, but if it gets worse, you know, just let us know. It because you're not supposed to touch your eyes either because your yeah. lenses are trying to heal. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And like, I it was searing pain for a whole <laughs> night to where like I couldn't touch it, you know, and it was just like, just tears coming in my eye i'm just like it felt like a cat went in there and just like oh no and then we called them first thing in the morning and they're closed technically (laughs) and i said you have to this is so much pain i go in and then the nurse is like looking the doctor wasn't even in because it's they're closed that day right yeah so it was like an emergency call she looks she goes oh oh no and she said i'll be right oh no she started off like can you read the letters on the board and she's like, do it with this eye. I'm like, A, B, C, D, whatever. And she's like, do it with this eye. I said, I can't see. I said, I can't see you. I, I cannot said, see. I said, I can't even see the tattoos on my hand, my guy. <laughs> and she's, she's like, okay, let me look. And then she looks, she's like, oh. And she's like, I'll be, I'll be right back. And she left. And she's like, okay, so the doctor's coming in. Um, he's at home, but he should be here in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Gets there, and he looks in my eyes like, whoa. He said, what happened? I said, I don't know. I think the nozzle poked it. Oh. And he's like, your lens has been completely <laughs> folded up on your eye. <laughs> like it's like, oh. you took like a, oh, like a sock and, or a piece of paper like this. Stop. But this is your lens. It was like that on my eye. Oh. And so they basically had to redo the surgery on my eye again. Oh, goodness and gracious. so. It's it, all from the bottle? Uh, Yeah. Oh. I think, um, but he's like, I've, he's like, I've been doing this for 15 years and that's never happened to one of my patients. I said, gotta you're, be the first. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Had to be the first. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Um, Anything with eyes, man. I just, oh, I can't, I can't think about it. It's just, I know, same. it's such a tender thing mm. to be scraped up like that. It just, they're so precious. Ooh, and too. then you just want to yes. protect them. Yeah. <laughs> just protect them. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> that's so scary. That's so scary. But now I can see. <gasps> I can see clearly now from LASIK surgery. <laughs> Call one eight hundred LASIK surgery today. <laughs> um, that's probably actually a phone number. Probably. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, I saw a terrifying video that was something like that, but it got worse for them, and so I said, "Lil." Hey, maybe don't get it. Hey. I didn't really want to get it anyway. So. But I was pressuring her to get it. I'm like, it's the best. I yeah. Even though it was terrible for me. I can't sleep if I can't, if I can see. 
Mm. I can only sleep if I can't see. It's like her. It's like her own eye mask. Every yeah. time I sleep, I can't see as well. <laughs> you could just cross your eyes to go to sleep. I could, I guess. Yeah. I told Demi was at the bus stop yesterday, and she uh, like I, she's having a hard time wearing her glasses at school. Uh-huh. And I probably just think because no one else, you know, not a lot of the people wearing glasses, and so. I said, you know, really cool people wear glasses. And I said, your Aunt Lily wears glasses. Oh. But she has contacts. And so, like, one day, do you want contacts? And she's like, yeah, I totally want contacts. <laughs> so don't ever get LASIK because then I'll say, listen, um, Aunt Lily wasn't tough enough to be an eye glass wearer. <laughs> you can. They're getting worse, though. They get worse with every pregnancy. Is that yeah, crazy? get worse. Your bio- the bio- children are stealing in. your eyesight. <gasps> the children are stealing my eyesight. <laughs> The youths. <laughs> the youths stole my eyesight. <laughs> Jen Alpha. Okay, can we turn this back around? Sure. <gasps> Should we do our first ever questions corner? Ooh. Questions right, corner. We have a jingle. We have a good jingle. Question corners. Question corners. Question corners. Welcome to Question Lily, Corners. Lily. <laughs> we'll work on it. Next episode, we'll, yeah, have, a, we'll, we'll have a jingle. <laughs> We talked about it in a prior podcast, but my favorite thing, <laughs> my favorite thing to do is ask people questions. Yeah. Yes. All right. Because I think it's the best vehicle to get to know someone. Like yeah. question, like for example, also out of a bad conversation or like lack of conversation. Yeah. For example, questions she asked me: How dare you? <laughs> um, who do you think? You who are? do you think you are? <laughs> how did you get in my house? <laughs> anyway, so continue. Anywho, so every episode I'm going to ask a question. And I'm making a running list. But here is our first question that I'm posing to you guys. Let Mm. me set the mood. Mm. You're in the fifth grade. Yes, I'm there. I hear children playing in the playground. I smell the (laughs) I smell the urine. (laughs) Where? (laughs) That's me. Never mind. (laughs) That's this reality. Never mind. (laughs) You're on the cusp of what you think is adolescence. You're asking yourself the question, do I have crushes or do I want to play with fire trucks in the sand still? Mm. Um, you're coming on to probably what are going to be the worst years of your life, middle school. Mm. But it's a Friday. Mm. It's not only a Friday. You're on a field trip. Whoa. With your best friends on the school bus. Okay. You just done something fun and now it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And your school takes you to a mall cafeteria. The food court. Okay. I'm there. Where? (laughs) It's definitely there. (laughs) I'm so there. <laughs> Where are you eating? Oh. And what are you eating? Um, I'm probably going to the Chinese restaurant because they have all the samples. <laughs> and I love those samples. Okay. Or. They always give samples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they know we're not going to go there. <laughs> but they, they know most that. of the, t- most of the time, they like you know we're not going to go there. If we're getting samples. You're probably yeah. not going to go there. You're just kind of going around hoping they give you a sample. Yeah. <laughs> get They're so nice. Yeah. Probably that or uh, like Chick-fil-A or something. Lame. Why? Okay. Wow. At Chick-fil-A, you can get that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But that's just what I want at the okay. mall. Okay. All right. Don't, hey, don't yell at your wife. Wait, yeah. how can that be a wrong answer? There's a wrong answer and you chose it. Wow. Where are you going? Uh, Chinese food too. Mm. Orange Lame. chicken. Lame. <laughs> well, you should just stuck with orange, I mean, Chinese you should have just stuck with that. <laughs> well, I'm just, it's my, it's, I'm, that's, it's how I'm going to answer it. Okay. Well, she didn't ask for the second option. <laughs> uh, she said one place. Okay. The Chinese restaurant. Okay. Yep. I'm going to go Chinese, but there's a hack. You never get it to, to eat there. You always get it to go because they oh, fill they, that to go thing. Oh, way more food. Interesting. interesting. Yep. Andy, you're not asking present day Andy. Okay. Cause my answer would be different. Okay. You're asking fifth grade Andy. Yep. That's getting his bang for his buck. That's getting something sweet and also something savory. <laughs> Wetzel's pretzels. Andy's heading over with his buddies to eat fresh at Subway. Baby. <laughs> That's where I'm headed. Nice. Subway. Get a foot long with a two with two chocolate chip cookies. Mm. <laughs> Subway has the best cookies in the world. They're good. They are really best good. Best fast I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it, but they—that's the only thing that keeps me. Subway back. has a very distinct smell to me. Same. Yeah, and it—it's not good. I understand it's not good. It's a I, good it, not to a good me, smell. it smells like throw up. Ew! Yeah. I I know it's weird, but every time I walk in, I'm like, it smells like Pink. throw up. 
Well, it's Subway is a land of mystery at it this is. point because they they tested the bread and it cannot be technically called bread. What yeah. is because it? Because it's not. A, I think it's styrofoam. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it, they say it can't technically co- be called bread. And what they uh, called tuna fish is not technically fish. Ah, what is it? It was not fish te- d- detected when they tested it. So, but for some reason, what is it? I don't know. I lo- t- the sweet teriyaki sandwich. Is it cat? It could be cat. Yeah. I've never seen a cat around Subway. <laughs> True. That's it's true. Ask me all the animals I've seen around Subway. The None I- of them are cats. <laughs> the irony that Subway could be cats and we've been eating the Chinese food and it's fine. Yeah. yeah. But Subway is cats. Yeah. Um Yeah. Good maybe question. that's fa- maybe that's fake propaganda that the Subway people are selling. Oh on nice. the market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Don't worry about our our fish. Andy, yeah. it's I have, over there. I have another question for you. Did you even have malls growing up in Malls? Joplin? I didn't grow up in Joplin. <laughs> I moved there as an adult to go to college and get a full-time job, okay? Relax. Jeez Louise. He lived in, like, the coolest places. I lived all over, Lily. I lived in Florida. That's it. <laughs> I lived in, like, 30 states, multiple countries. <laughs> he lived in Don't Morocco. come at me with no mall baloney. <laughs> How dare you? I lived in Florida my whole life. I like popsicles. Get over it, Lily. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I yeah. love malls. I've never been in one actually. Uh, <laughs> I've never, I've never you just in think mall. malls or subways? <laughs> <A strip mall. laughs> you mean like at a strip mall? I'm going to a subway. I yeah. Guess. I mean, like, I, I'm like a, I don't think that like Joanne Fabric sells food. I mean, <laughs> oh Andy, you know malls aren't subways, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I used to love malls. There, the mall I grew um, when I uh, in Montana. I was not because not every mall has a movie theater. Yeah. But there was a corner you would turn and in not the mall. every movie theater has a mall <laughs> absolutely <Yeah. laughs> that is a that true again. statement <laughs> but there'd be a corner that you would turn where like a wall of just butter popcorn would just hit you in the face like just mike tyson hit you in the face and you're just like i'm, I'm here it's the happiest place in the world andrew just walks in there and dies <laughs> <laughs> legit <laughs> My wife made a bunch of butter popcorn for like a school fundraiser thing. They were selling bags at a fall festival and I walked in the house. I didn't re- I was just like, it smells like popcorn and literally a couple minutes in started struggling to breathe. And I was like, Hey, is there, is that like real butter on that popcorn? She was like, yeah. Wait, <laughs> wait like, a minute. Yeah. That smell isn't popcorn. It's death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was That's bad. terrifying. It was bad. So like, let's go on airborne. If, cool. like, if you were an early Israelite, and you were promised to go to the land of milk and honey. Like, <laughs> oh, no. so, 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 hold on. <laughs> what and honey? <laughs> I can't go. Pass. You're standing on the other side of the Red Sea. I'm st- I can't. I can't go. <laughs> Moses, I'm go, not going in. Go without me. <laughs> you know, you don't have to drink milk, right? <laughs> no. Yep. Um, but yeah, speaking of milk and tuna fish. You hear about those those killer whales killing all those great white sharks? Yeah. Oh my god! Have you heard about it? I've seen it, dude. It's like more than normal? Yeah, there's like there's these. It was like this group of uh, killer whales, orca. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? orcas. Yeah, yeah, orcs. Yeah, let's not oh. keep, call them killer whales. Okay. <laughs> Well, they're not, killing. I know, not everyone. <laughs> those not every kill- one of them, though. I know, but those were killer whales. Okay, all right. <laughs> Right. In in like a week span or something, they killed like twenty five great white sharks. What? Yeah. What is this vendetta about? Don't know. It's yeah. just it. Maybe it's their territory. That's weird. Like, oh but gosh, they like gangsters. they they just kill them. Like they'll like go and like bite their like. So they don't eat them. They bite no. them. So no yeah. no no. They're not killing them. They're murdering those yeah. sharks. Yeah. Killer That's whales. Murder Andy. whales. Murder whales. <laughs> Murder whales. <laughs> I mean, aren't, aren't they technically dolphins? And that's why they like they don't know why they're doing it. It could just be in porpoise? Something like that. <laughs> they do it on porpoise. Hey. Oh! Oh! Yes. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, speaking of sharks, did you see that great white shark that washed up on the shore of North Carolina? No. Dude, it looks Andrew's, photoshopped. Andrew sent it to me and Andy this morning. Megalodon? Dude. Not that big, but it's it, big. It's like the one at um, Universal that they used to have hanging up by Jaws. Yeah. Looks just like that. Wh- maybe oh. it is. 
Uh, it could be reincarnated. Uh, ma, 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 me, me. <laughs> for for me, it's like just the sheer girth of that thing is you see terrifying. That? Throw it to me. Yeah, Hit me. Oh my god! Okay, scroll through it. Isn't that crazy? And it I literally said, just ate something. You could tell it's all bloody on his mouth. I think because it was like struggling. Oh, struggling. Maybe it's running away from the killer whales. Yeah, maybe it was. Was it alive when it? Was yeah, they were, yeah trying they were trying to push, to push it, it back. back in. So it's alive. Yeah. Yeah, but I said I wouldn't push that back in. <laughs> you need to. Why? Look at that. Yeah. What if you mean? No, eat the whole beach. <laughs> your entire you moral. push it in. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was your friend. <laughs> I saved you. I tried to help you. That was Sorry. the sketchiest toss back. <laughs> yeah, so we'll show the pictures. Sharks are so scary, well, man. As we're talking, yeah, we'll show yeah. the pictures. Sharks are because there's so multiple pictures. Stinking scary, and that I didn't know those great whites. Because like when you hear East Coast, it's a lot of smaller sharks. Yep. you get bit, but mm-hmm. on the West Coast, that's when you die. Like if you get attacked by a shark, you're dying over there. Yeah, over here, it's like you'll get you'll bit, you stitches, whatever. But that's North Carolina. That's right up the road. Yeah. 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 That's the cold, huge, bro. The colder the water, the bigger the shark. Come on, climate change. Is that true? I didn't you know, know that. You know what they say. <laughs> the Did colder the water, the bigger the shark. They killed Andy. Why am, I, why am I getting lightheaded from laughing today? I don't know I don't what know. it is. And there's got to be something like in the room. Time. You were like, I have vertigo. I have vertigo. <laughs> Oh, oh my! Dude, is there black mold in this room? Or something? I don't know. No, that's We're weird. Dying. Yeah, because I've never lost like I've. It's this booth or something. Uh-oh. You guys need to get a, a mold test. Where would it be? That or an exorcist? I don't Just know. Lift Probably up the, in those, this there was, there was that leak behind the wall, oh. right there. Yeah. Oh my right goodness! There. Could you imagine? That's I, why you got appendicitis. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> I hope so. You got this booth from like a closed down restaurant too. Who no, knows its this, origin? This we got from the um, education director of Altamont. Remember? Oh, we picked it up. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we showed up. It was Facebook Marketplace, right? So yeah. we show up. At she the was house. terrified. Of we, us. we go to no. We go to the <laughs> at wrong. First, at first. Oh, I remember. Yeah. yeah, we go to the wrong house. She put the wrong house on the address on purpose because it was her like son. Her oh, son was son. selling okay. it. Yeah, but he put the wrong house on there, and so we go and we knock on this lady's um, door and. She opens the door so rudely. Yeah. Said, "What do you want?" I so said, like, "We're I, here to get by the booth, wrong house." <gasps> I said, I, I, "I'm I like, I'm like, this is the address that was given." She's like, <clears throat> "Probably them over there." And she's like, "You can like leave my property now." <laughs> oh my gosh! So, I said, "My bad." Sorry, lady. So we walk over there, and uh, the girl was super sketched. Like she didn't answer us. We were about to literally dr- we're driving away, and then she messaged like, "Hey, no worries, I'll come out." It was her son. I said, "Dude, yeah." There's a car here and no one's answering where you yeah. at. He's oh, like, so he was away and we were knocking on this door and she would not answer the door for us. Yeah, smart girl. <laughs> yeah. What? She, smart girl, you guys are scary. Look, we don't look scary. You guys she, are scary. Didn't she call the cops or something too? I think she did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we we finally go in and she's like apologizing and like and then she could not stop talking about, listen, I I, I love everyone in the school, um, um, school world. It's a respectable job, obviously. But she wanted us to really know just how hard of a job she has oh. and how important she was. Yeah. <laughs> because I couldn't just give out my address to anybody because I was like, okay, yeah. relax. We're just buying a booth later. <laughs> We're just buying a booth. It's like people that threatened me before. And it's like, really? <laughs> Have they? <laughs> we didn't listen, we just don't you no need to trauma dump. We just want the booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um but we were nice to her. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are very nice, but you're and then just when, appeared then when we to be left scared. Her, <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> now give me all your money. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> I just run her like this. <laughs> <laughs> Go be scared of us now. Every time I laugh at him, we enlight it. I don't know what's going on. Oh my up. gosh, you guys! Oh I no, feel, there I might feel, be something, man. Like, yeah, just like I have like a, a blood clot, probably. Like, oh no! Don't say that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Andy, finish the pod. No, I got like I got like for real vertigo today. Yeah, you're right here. This. Like I was looking on and go. What? <laughs> That's so weird. Like, what if we're in the Oregon Vortex? Oh. <laughs> what if this is the Florida Vortex and we can start paying right mission spot? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like. Everyone just scoots on the other booth. I, don't, I just I don't move this and it starts floating. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel really lightheaded. <laughs> um, but yeah. Fish be crazy, yo. <laughs> Sharks be tripping. Fishes, fishes be yeah. crazy. You know that is a correct term. <laughs> oh no! A correct term. That's a correct term. Is that the same guy that did bulldozer? I feel. <laughs> the I feel tired. Oh no! Oh no! I just want to lay down. 
No. So it has like an exhaust like pipe <laughs> just leading into this. Why did you think this was a good idea? <laughs> um, no, but that is a correct term saying fishes. Really? What Catching is your fishes? what? Is, uh, <laughs> well, I I just want to say this though because it's my worst fear, and I got to talk about it right now. What? What if there's a carbon monoxide leak in this room right now? There, it, we do have gas hookup lines. Oh no! Whatever. Hey, we, at least the content that's it. coming out of it is really great. <laughs> it's worth it, right, guys? We're just we're not even saying anything. We're like meh 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 meh. We're just like we're just like zabadeh fishes fishes. Sharks be crazy. Sharks are crazy, <laughs> man. Everyone, we have no idea because we have headphones on, but there's people banging on the door. <laughs> like, get, 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 get out! Look, Ashley, get out! What are you doing? <laughs> you can't be in there. We look, and it's just like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's 2035. <laughs> We're in the future. <laughs> Everyone's zombies. Ada comes to pick us up. <laughs> ah, that makes me Mom, sad. Mom, Dad. <laughs> I'm sad. Are you okay? <laughs> What's what? episode 32? Oh. What are you talking about? It's 3200. <laughs> 3200, Dad. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> but yeah, fishes. Yeah, them. Here's my husband, Kirk Cameron. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ada, you married Kirk Cameron. <laughs> yeah. Such a it's huge a age He's gap. like 80 years old now. Um, no, but it was Joe Rogan and, uh, what's his name? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yes. Is that, was that right? Neil, yes. um, Neil deGrasse Lawn Tyson. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, deGrasse. Tyson Pods. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, Tyson Chicken. Tyson Chicken. Tyson chicken. Jinx. Whoa. Jinx. <laughs> Neil Mike Tyson deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> but he said, Neil said fishes and oh. Joe Rogan's like, uh, don't you mean fish? And he's like, no, fishes. And he's like, no, it's the fish is plural. And he said, no, fish is plural, referring to one species of fish. But if there's multiple of different species altogether, it's called fishes. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. And I said, now I know. The more yeah. you know. The more you know. The more you call. But just imagine just being in a cram saying, look at all those fishes. <laughs> look at all those You don't fishes. sound smart. <laughs> you don't sound smart. You That's don't true. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those fishes. <laughs> Well, all the birds is <laughs> birds is the deers is the deers is <laughs> with all those deers is <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right. That's, That's very cool. pretty. Very cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I won't, I have uh, way darker stuff, but why not end on a happy note again? Yeah. Hey, I have a question. What, what was the happy note? Um, I don't know if we had one cause we're probably being poisoned <laughs> by carbon monoxide right now. Oh yeah. This might be our last pod. Um, Lily question for you. Yeah. How many seagulls would it take to be placed into your home before you started realizing someone was placing them or them there on purpose? Deliberately? Like, yeah, like how long, how many times, like you find a seagull in your house, how many Literally seagulls would time. it take? <laughs> one time and you think someone's <laughs> up to it? Where's the seagull near us? We are in Florida. Th- yeah. So pretty surely, close. Surely there could be some. Okay, maybe two times. Maybe two times? I would, I would say, say two. I'd say two times. Maybe three. Because at two, you're looking for holes around the house. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. something. Like how, are they, how are they getting in? Yeah. yeah. I, think I, I think I'm think i upwards of 10. A little over yeah. 10. Oh, my god. 10 gosh. plus, I'm like, this is happening on purpose. Same. <laughs> and you'd be like, if it was you, you'd be like, how long is it going to take? <laughs> how many times can I find a seagull? It would drive Paige and I apart because I'd be yelling at her, being like, close the door when you let the dogs out. <laughs> I'm closing the door. And, and then Paige would be like, who has a key to our house? <laughs> who's, who's putting these seagulls in our house? You're the only yeah, one in this exactly. room that has a key to my house. I have a ton of access to seagulls, too. Did you change the locks? Because if not, I have a key to your house. Shoot! <laughs> True. <laughs> Do you have the back door key? Because I've never found that. No, we've never we, had a back we never door had key. one either. That's so nuts. Yeah. Um, And that's just the difference between you and me, Andy. You and I. Me. Hmm. Look who's messing up. <laughs> I'm a cynic. And oh, I, I would assume, expect the worst. Yeah. I would assume that somebody's doing it to me. You mean a, a slinky? Yeah. That's yeah, a slinky. Yeah. Cynic. That's someone who thinks. Word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's it. <clears throat> You're not a cynic. You're not a cynic. I'm a cynic. Like a fruit. Like a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping there was going to be a joke out of that, but I just. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, went in on her just saying, I'm a cynic. I'm like, yep. 
I'm you a are. cynic, I'm a cynic. <laughs> I'm a cynic, I'm a cynic, I'm a cynic. Uh, 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 I'm a cynic. I'm a cynic. <laughs> <laughs> we should do an like educational an video for fruit. <laughs> I'm a cynic, I'm a cynic. I'm a cynic. <laughs> It's just an orange. Uh, 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 I'm an orange. <laughs> and then a cup of coffee so comes scared. out. I'm acidic. I'm acidic. <laughs> <laughs> it just never ends. It's and like, they just never make eye contact and never blink. Oh my gosh. It's like an educational video for IBS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what not to eat. <laughs> oh, speaking of acidic, let's stop. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell somebody, tell a friend about this podcast, guys. Oh my gosh, I got lightheaded again. No! Dude, I'm telling you. This is trippy. This is really weird. Who has a carbon monoxide detector? Get it's, it! Whoa. <laughs> yeah, no! I'm really dizzy. No! <laughs> the Ding Dong Bandit's just like... Got Do you need like, CPR? Yeah. I got a little anxious. Do you need CPR? No. <laughs> I can do it for, I can do it for no, you. I'm good. I can, I can do it for I'm you. Good. No, come here. Come here. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, everyone comments something that you learned today. Yeah. <laughs> what did you learn? <laughs> Tell us something. Maybe it's something today. you learned about us. Yeah. <laughs> something you learned about us, something you learned about just whatever. The this fact that'd be about like, the podcast. Yeah. It's like how I learned about fishes. <laughs> yeah. And I learned about fishes. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, you're being poisoned. This is going to be the hardest podcast to edit because I'm not going to know when anyone's talking. So if you're watching this, like this, like this, like this, like this. <laughs> if you're watching this and the cuts are horrible, I apologize in advance. No excuse. No excuse. <laughs> we need perfection. Oh my gosh. End it. No, actually, let's We're not going to win this play. <laughs> <laughs> We're riding, baby. Yo, let's go for another hour. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm very lightheaded. Hey, I got for really real, sweaty. I think we should do that. We should do uh, maybe oh, on our, no. maybe on our 50th, uh, 50th episode or something. We should do a long, really extended episode where they can like, it's a live stream or something. Would you they know. be interested in that? Yeah. Maybe because like Moment House does those things like you pay five bucks and you get like a special show. Yeah. We could do that maybe. Yeah. Possibly down the line. This room Possibly. gets air last yes what if everyone's passed out outside <gasps> let's go find out we need to save them okay All right, we're gonna go check and make sure everyone's not dead comment com bye bye. <laughs> comment something <laughs> you learned <laughs> goodness gracious brain love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. love you love you love you love you love you all you all right hey hey okay <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas are dead. Hold up. Listen to this, because I know we probably won't use it, but I just still <laughs> wanted to show you guys. Um, have you heard? Uh, Morgan Wallen pitched up. No. All right, tell me who this sounds like. I've heard this before. Miley Cyrus. Isn't that crazy? That also happens with um, who is it? It's, it's Justin uh, Bieber and Post Malone. And well, slow down with uh, Adele and somebody else. I haven't heard the Adele one. Yeah, yeah I I know you're talking. Wasn't about. it like, yeah. um I can't remember. <laughs> that was that was the bit that I was ready to contribute <laughs> the entire podcast. Oh. I've never found an on ramp. <laughs> I've had that video pulled up since we started. <laughs> he, <just> like, <laughs> he literally. <laughs> Have you guys ever more? Well, <laughs> he has no more like, wall, right? Shush! Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say this one time. <laughs>